it looks like we're gonna have to start on this. <laughs> and I wanna start on this. That's delicious. Woo! <laughs> Come on up out of there. Yeah. So, where do we gotta go from here? There's not much else right now. I mean, there is, but not what we're doing frame right now. We're doing frame. So, looks like it looks like we're gonna have to start on this and i want to start on this more two by six. yeah we need more two by sixes because we have to redo this whole floor and then we're not just going to be going to the beam obviously because the beam is exposed we're going to go way over here and maybe to the next beam so they may need to be full eight foot or maybe tens i don't even know we're going to find out we'll find out yeah we're going to find out now this is going to be a low light recording so i don't know how good it's going to be all right so the thing is i haven't complained about it on camera but for the last two months of videos almost i've had a disc out or something in my back so it really hurts to bend over and work so i'm gonna go in that hole and stand on the ground and try to do some of this so that it doesn't hurt me so much square edge but I guess it just Phillips is looking funky That one smushed in. Oh, I don't want to be right here. Now that can probably just rip out, huh? Yeah, somebody's already tried to sister this up up under here. That's this smushy wood here. And then there's another little piece of plywood they used as a board. They used a piece of plywood as a beam, it looks like. So this is had effort put into reworking it multiple times. This has already been sistered up several times. That's three different two by sixes. And it looks like soil. Mm, nice. That's delicious. Woo! Her stage name is delicious. Mm. Yikes. Okay. Well, what else can we do? something holding it down there's one right there <laughs> it's rusted all the way out of course <sighs> yeah that's working like a charm i might have to get my little clamps and see if i can untwist it that way since they don't have no heads this one's being a pain. We've already cut it with a sawzall. I don't know if you can see that line. We've cut it with a sawzall and it's still strong. It's rotty and rusted out at the top, but it's still strong. That's the worst combination. I'd rather it just be rotted out and fall through. And I'm catching myself on rusty stuff. Got that good vitamin R. Ugh. God, this is so nasty. This is gonna be my master bathroom. I want you to remember that. I plan to bathe myself in this room at some point. It's trapped gold. Look at this, it's just terrible. I got a screw out. <laughs> What's 
holding you in. Something's holding you in. There's one right there, and it's probably rusted out. That's why it don't come up. I'm gonna put this in my pocket and drop this. Oh, my back is killing me. This had to have added a lot of structural integrity to the whole thing. Ah. It's so strong, it doesn't even want to come out. piece of wood. They took two screws to put that in. And that was useful. Some sort of capacity. There's another little one. Right there. A little cloud of dust. Ugh. Oh, you
This is the life that I was created for. Two-hand would never do me that way. I stabbed it into that. system. The plumbing system. Persuaded it. Sliding off on my sweat. He wants to play with me. They got a little pot hidden in here. <laughs> a little pot to be hidden in the wall. You don't want to look into that. That's right. Don't worry about that. Right there. Oh. Okay. There's going to be a cut or something. It's going up under there. It's pretty. <laughs> And I'm going to have to apologize for my hair. I mean, it is so humid today. It's like cloudy and rainy and humid, and I cannot do anything with my hair. All right, so we took a break. First, we knocked all the debris in the hole, which you can see is in there, um, because she has a good way of raking it out with a rake to the front. She's been doing it that way, so that's how she wanted me to do it. <laughs> so we're going to keep knocking it in there. And, uh, yeah, I'm still going to again. I my wrecking door.
I'm fighting dust. the wall was closer than it was. <laughs> closer than it is. Thank you. 
I'm gonna switch directions because that's fighting too hard. Y'all forgive me if I wanted to take a breath. Termies. Stabbing my dude. Ah, oh, hit it again. Yes, that's a no.
Bust out the chainsaw. You got my axe. Talking about. Come on up out of there. Come on up out of there. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. The whole thing, then. 
that. That's a wrap of duty. Y'all want to take a peek? Come on in here with me. Come on in here with me. Uh, if I had my cell phone, I'd give you a little bit better light. But, as you can see, old scab wood on top of that. I don't know if that's original or not. The rim joist doesn't look too rotted everywhere, right? It's not too bad everywhere. That's the old floor falling out right there. Oh, thank you. She brought me some light. So that black stuff is the old floor. Let me see if I can balance this camera. That's the old floor. That's the stuff they used to put in mobile homes, OSB or, I don't know, particle board. It falls apart, and it was under the wall, so that's a problem, too. This is where the toilet was. This is all that ductwork I was kicking out there a while ago. There's some of the blocking and stuff up under here. Yeah, you know, it's a thing, it's a thing. Ooh, what we got there? It looks like the Goonies. Well, that room joist is definitely a little rotted up under there. Up under here. If we can, there's a lot of screws in here we can't get out, unfortunately. So that means it's going to fight us the whole way, of course. Thanks for coming by and we will see you on the next one.